Da -dun 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 -dun. Show World. Welcome to Show World Gamers. Josh here, and today we are checking out new games that were just announced and dropped instantly on the Nintendo Switch Online service. And this time, we're jumping into the Game Boy Library games for three new games. So let's see what it has to offer. And at the end, we'll have a bonus game that was released. If you look right there, that's a little kind of teaser. But let's jump in here and we'll see what games were added to the service. Do me a quick favor while this is booting up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hopefully when this next Nintendo system comes out, Switch 2 or whatever ends up being called, this is one of the things is that we'll get fixed is the loading times. It's really nice on the newer consoles, the PS5, the Series X, not having those loading times. And hopefully Switch will be the next one that, or the next Nintendo console will be the same in that regard where we don't have the long loading times. All right. And there's the big one right there, Super Mario Land. Now people have been wanting this game on here. It was kind of surprising that it wasn't one of the original games that were put on here. But it's finally here, Super Mario Land. It's a weird Mario game, but it, it belongs here. And it's a fun game. And it has some of the best music. Probably the best music of any Game Boy game. It's fantastic. Next up, we have Baseball. And lastly, we have Alleyway. And if you notice, we do have a little Mario in each one. So these, you know, kind of two pretty obscure Mario games. And then Super Mario Land, which... It's getting pretty old. A lot of people haven't played this game. I don't think my son's playing it. Maybe I'll get him to jump on and play this later today after he gets out of school. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and we'll check out the games. We'll see what they have to offer. And I have played Super Mario Land a lot. This was actually the game that I got when I bought my Game Boy. And it, it's a short game. I beat it pretty quick. But it's a fun game. It's not a Miyamoto game. It, the controls are a little goofy, but we'll get to that here in a moment. And if we're going to start with Alleyway, which I'm not sure if I've played this game. i played a lot of the different, you know, breakout style games, and that's what this is. But let's jump in and check out Alleyway. Oh, there's Mario jumping in. All right. So, you control the little thing at the bottom, and you just have to keep the ball going up, and you try and eliminate all the blocks. And there's a lot of different games like this, but this is actually a first-party Nintendo version. And these games are fun. So far, so good. I'm not sure why that came up on the bottom of the screen there. Why I would want to rewind. Seems like we're doing so far, so good. See if we can finish. Clear this first level before I miss a ball. And the levels, of course, get harder the further you go into the game. It does start to get kind of tricky when you get down to the last couple. See, now we're missing. There we go. All right, down to the last two. 
All right, the last one's always kind of hard to hit. Oh, we got it right away. All right, so now we're moving on to the second level. And this one rotates. So there's... There we go. Get rid of a lot right here. Wow, that worked out well. Stay up there. Got back up there for long. This one's going to be real hard when we get down to the last block to try and just get that last one. Down to the last couple. Gonna get it? Oh. Alright, last one. Here we go. And I blew it. Uh all right. Well let's go ahead and we'll back out and we'll jump into the next game. Alleyway is a fun game. I mean, it's it's one of those games you could just pick up and just play for a little while and have fun with it. You know, even with the simple graphics, it's it's just a lot of fun. I highly recommend giving it a shot. Uh, next up, let's jump into baseball, and this is a pretty rudimentary baseball game, but it's pretty fun. Let's see, game mode select. I guess we'll go with USA. All right, Bears. Eagles. We'll bat first. We'll pick the Bears. All right, we got Mario, Paul, Eric, and Jimmy on our team. So we'll select Mario. I mean, why would you not? And it looks like we're going to be going against Luigi's team. And they're going to have Randy pitching, apparently. Let's figure out what button does what. And there's only two buttons on the system, so. Oh, just a bit early there. All right, let's try that again. Run, run. Ah, oh, he's out. He's out. All right, Tom's up next. Come on, Tom. Right. Ooh, uh, it's not going to get out of the infield. I think he's going to get... It's gonna get come on, drop it. That's two quick outs. Not off to a great start. Jim is up next. Let's move up. Is it going? It's going. All right, we got a base hit. Yeah, I'm not sure how you keep running, but that's okay. See if we can keep this inning going. Ooh. I thought that was a pretty good pick. Swing. Swing back a little bit. Is it going to get out to the outfield? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come on. Keep running. Keep running. All right. There we go. We're going to third. We're going to third. Is he going to make it? Ah, oh, safe. Let's go. All right. Now we got Bob up. Because oh come on oh we scored though oh well, maybe it wasn't caught huh, he must not have caught it I thought he caught it and got the out nope we did score a run now Rick's up oops come on Rick 
Ooh, that's a hard one. Is that going to be a home run? Going to be a home run? Oh, he caught it at the wall. That's disappointing. All right, but we did score one run here. And hey, this game's it's fun. It's simple, but sometimes I just prefer the simple, like, you know, especially for a portable system. Just, you know. All right, go catch it, catch it. All right. Oh, we got one out. Come on, Lewis. Let's rip this past Lewis. Yeah, strike one. Let's move over. Let's throw a ball and see if we can get it. Oh, oh. That's a foul ball. Is he going to catch it for the out? Let's go. Two up, two down. Let's start. All right, let's see if we can get this last out. Oh, that was definitely a strike throw a ball. Oh man, that wasn't even over the plate and he got a good hit off of it. Stayed at first at least. Man, that guy, not the best throw to second there. It took a while for it to get there. He's crowding the plate. Let's throw it inside. Crowding the plate again. Let's throw it. Oh, man. Go get it. Throw it the third. And he's out. All right. All right. Well, we played one inning. And hey, we're winning. So. We're going to take that win so far. and Let's jump into the final game, which is definitely the highlight of the releases. Go to game select. And Super Mario Land. All right. Now, this control-wise, this game's kind of goofy. This is not a game that was made by Shigeru Miyamoto. Um, but it's still a fun game. I, I enjoy it. The physics are kind of weird. It doesn't you know, feel the greatest, but it's okay. Has some weird characters. There's levels where you're shooting. There's a submarine level. There's an airplane level. If I can go. There you go. Say. I don't remember much about this game. It's been years since I played it, but... fireball in this game kind of works like a bouncy ball. But actually in the turtles, when you jump on them here, I'll jump on a turtle here next one I see. This is a short game. I think when I bought this game, I think I may have actually like finished it in the car. Not these weird creep new characters. But when you jump on the turtles, the shells actually turn into bombs and they explode. There's Sphinx there. But it's still a fun Mario game. And, oh, and one thing with the, the fireballs is they collect the coins. So it's kind of a cool little thing. And there's two exits to each level. You want to go for the high exit. Good. Try that again. And there we go. And that'll give us a chance to get get to play a little mini game here. Or your, let's see. And we got the plus three, the times three. So we got three extra lives. That's the best one to get. Alright, 
so world one two. One thing about the fireball though is you cannot shoot another one until the first one is off screen. So, so I'll jump on this turtle, see, and he's gonna explode. So far, so good. Ah, the music to, music's fantastic in this game. Parts of this game. All right, we're still moving along pretty good. These are going to disappear. All right, top one again. And we got the three again. That was lucky. I actually just hit the button there. And we got it, but hey, I'll take it. All right, so now we're in. Looks like a temple. Egyptian temple. Whoa! Forgot about those things that fall. Almost got me. Fireball shooter. All right, let's see here. Let's go this way and get all these coins. Right. Can't break the bricks up there like in the other games. And do those I knew that disappeared, but I thought I could run across it. Alright, well that's definitely the, the highlight of the three games. You know, this is a fun game. It, it it's not a long game. You can get through it pretty quick, but you'll have a lot of fun playing it. Now, you can't backtrack on here, so, like, I should have went down to the bottom, so I could have gotten the power up, but... I highly suggest giving this game a shot. It's fun. But, let's go ahead and back out, and now we're gonna go to... Alright, and then we have another game that was released in Japan that we did not get here in the U.S., so... We're going to jump in and check that out. So let's take a look. We got baseball there. We got Super Mario Land. Alleyway. And then this is the game that Japan got today also. Well, actually, I think they released. They released on the 14th, same day as they released in the U.S. But we did not get this game. This is a Japan-only release. Now, you can't create a Japanese or a European account. And, like, we have the family plan, and I think it allows, like, eight people on it. So, we weren't using all those, so I went ahead and created a, a Japanese email address and just created a Japanese account. And that way, you can play all the, you can play the Japanese versions of the games. And sometimes the U.S. will get games that Japan doesn't get, or Japan gets games the U.S. don't get. So, that's definitely a cool way to get some extra games that added to your Nintendo Switch online, but I don't know anything about this game. Um, I don't even know the name of it, but we'll jump in. I don't know how much of it we're going to be able to play, but definitely don't know what's going on yet. 
Alright. Cool looking little guy there. The 1992 game. Sure. All right. Hey, it's got great music. All right. Not sure what's going on. Oh, that guy just beat me up. Oh, we're fighting. I just got bodied, it looks like. Parts down there at the bottom shows me. Oh, he missed. I dodged him. Alright. Sure. Okay. Let's move through all this. Pretty dialogue heavy so far. Some of the games, you know... Especially like the older NES Game Boy games like that. There's not a lot of dialogue, so you can kind of... You can just play the Japanese games, and it, it's not that big a deal. But so far, this game looks pretty dialogue-heavy, and I have no idea what's going on. Which is disappointing, because... It looks interesting. Alright, can we just skip through all this? people to fit on that little tiny boat. Oh, they kicked me out. I guess I'm not going on the boat. So he beats me up and then he kicks me off the boat. Alright, well, we are moving around now. I guess we don't want to go that way. Oh, there's another boat. Maybe I gotta take this boat. Nope. I kicked off of that boat, too. Oh, but I got money. Oh, wait, or did they take my money? Oh, I had to pay money to take the boat. Okay. Well, we made it on a boat. Not sure where the boat's going, but... More dialogue. It appears to be kind of like a art. That looks like a pope. Or dialogue. Okay. Uh, am I gonna fight me? Alright, well, this was the game that released in Japan only. looks promising. It looks like a fun game if you can read Japanese, but unfortunately, this is one of the ones that is pretty dialogue heavy. Okay, we'll go ahead and bounce out of there. But there you have it. Those were the new games released on the Nintendo Switch Online in the Game Boy Library of Games. And there's some fun games there. I highly suggest giving them a try. And if you don't have a, the Japanese account, you can. there's videos online you can check on how to do that. Maybe I'll make one so you can uh, make a Japanese account. There's some Super Nintendo games and some NES games that are exclusive also. So definitely worth trying out. But I do want to thank you guys for checking out the videos and checking out the games with us today. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Shoujo World, out.